In 2022, a recruiting video, which can best be described as a movie trailer for a psychological thriller made by a conspiracy theorist with a Cold War fascination, made the rounds online. Complete with ghosts, creepy imagery, and even real-life uprisings, the mysterious video was made by the United States Fourth Psychological Operations Group. Also known as PSYOP, the unit defines itself as Masters of Influence and Practitioners of Information Warfare, as stated on its website, quote, we conduct influence activities to target psychological vulnerabilities and create or intensify fissures, confusion, and doubt in adversary organizations. Aside from the unsettling undertones, the video is pretty straightforward, calling to join the fourth psychological operations to find, manipulate, and become part of an elite team that functions as a puppeteer pulling the world's strings, particularly those of hot-button national security threats like the Chinese and Russian governments. Ghost in the Machine. After an eerie recruitment video titled Ghosts in the Machine was published on YouTube on May 2nd, 2022, some are now linking the United States Army with mysticism and perhaps even sorcery. Playing more like a movie trailer and less like a standard recruitment video, the three minute, 35 second clip comes with no explanation other than the mysterious words, quote, all the world's a stage, join us. Despite starting almost innocently, with popular quotes from Sun Tzu's The Art of War, followed by clips of cartoons and stock footage of multicultural city streets and subways, the video then starts leaning towards the strange. Growing increasingly disturbing, complete with hair-raising whistling in the background and suspenseful music, the edit then shows a clip of a shadow-like man anxiously staring at dark skies, riot scenes, and soldier deployment. Dark and tense, it then ends with an ominous message, quote, You'll find us in the shadows, at the tip of the spear. Anything we touch is a weapon. We can deceive, persuade, change, influence, inspire. We come in many forms. We are everywhere. Psychological Operations Group The video was released by the 4th Psychological Operations Group, Airborne, and has amassed more than a million views in less than a year. The group is one of the two active military information support operations units based in Fort Bragg. While this specific group is relatively unknown due to its secretive nature, military information support operations are vital. Psychological operations, or PSYOP, rely on logic, fear, desire, or other mental factors to promote specific emotions or behaviors and convince enemy, neutral, or friendly nations to take favorable actions toward the United States and its allies. Whether there's peace, contingencies, or full-on war, units like these cover the dissemination and circulation of information to foreign audiences in support of United States policy and national objectives. Instead of relying on force, PSYOP is all about influencing everyone, from governments, people of power, and even everyday citizens. When properly employed, Psychological operations even have the potential to save lives by gradually reducing the adversary's will to fight. By lowering the adversary's morale and efficiency, the 4th PSYOP group can also discourage aggressive actions, creating indifference within the ranks and ultimately leading to surrender. PSYOP elements are adaptive thinkers with language and cultural expertise, and they specialize in deception and cyber warfare, working in small teams. As a small and niche community within the U.S. Army, the 4th Psychological Operations Group has only 1,000 active duty soldiers. Behind the Scenes As part of the Special Operations community, the qualification course to become a PSYOP soldier is lengthy and demanding. The course, which extends to 56 weeks, is broken up into five different phases, including a prep and conditioning course, an assessment selection, and an almost three month long PSYOP qualification course where potential members learn about the fundamentals of psychological operations and behavioral theories. In addition, trainees also take a foreign language course that lasts between 16 and 24 weeks. In an interview with Colonel Chris Stangle, commander of the 4th PSYOP group, he states that the strange and macabre viral video was created in-house as a recruitment effort and to show the general public what they can do. He adds that creating niche, highly persuasive media is part of psychological operations. 
Stengel also said that the artist behind the video tailored it a bit after the iconic horror film Jaws, where the filmmakers show restraint in showing the menacing shark. Instead of showing the enemy head on, the viewers can sense it lurking just below the surface. Quote, drawing on this approach that doesn't show what a PSYOP soldier does necessarily because it's so complicated and there's so much about it. Quite honestly, it's just not incredibly sexy, but what it feels like to do our craft when we're successful. And we think that kind of allows the audience to immerse into what our world is and what our craft is. At work. PSYOP soldiers work with over 40 countries around the world, and these partnerships are critical in preventing future conflicts and managing them as they unfold in real time. According to Stengel, psychological operations are everywhere in the world, in every day, and in every component of our lives. Right now in Eastern Europe, where Ukraine is proving to be much more successful in the information war than the Russians, it is happening in real time. Stengel went on to say that after the annexation of Crimea in 2014, the American PSYOP community and other NATO allies teamed up to help Ukraine build its own abilities. Quote, We've helped them build their PSYOP force. We've helped them through military-to-military -military partnerships, us as well as more than 12 allies and partners. And what we've been able to do is just sit and watch how amazing their arguments are. Ukraine has done a masterful job. They've taken the training and the work we've done with them, as well as their own inherent skill, and have just really blown it up. Sinister Basis The overall response to the Ghosts in the Machine video has been positive, not only from civilians who have watched it, but also from soldiers in the field who identify with it. Because of the unit's secrecy and behind-the-scenes nature, when a PSYOP mission is successful, no one talks about it, and it is not covered in the news. But with this engaging, albeit creepy, video, they have felt seen. According to Stengel, the video is nothing more than an informative recruitment tool, evoking emotions and mental sensations with its unusual imagery. However, several conspiracy theorists and free thinkers suggest that the video's intent might be darker and possibly related to the occult. Some internet sleuths have claimed the video's allusions to magical happenings are not figurative and that units like PSYOP commonly research supernatural phenomena and the occult, including events like extrasensory perception and remote viewing. The video also sparked dozens of online articles trying to decipher the meaning of the clandestine units, while some even doubted its veracity. According to one commenter, clandestine army units like this don't make recruiting material because it brings unwanted attention. Even so, there has been continued debate but most people seem to agree that it effectively does what PSYOP units are supposed to do, which is to confuse, mislead, redirect, and occupy our minds. As the video puts it, quote, Warfare is evolving, and all the world's a stage. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to check out all our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we delve deep into many more exciting historical events and the stories behind them. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.